Hi everybody, Dr. Teresa Phillips here from Global Prophetic Live. I want to remind us all that behold, the angel of the Lord said, I bring you good tidings of great joy. I want to give you a little bit of a prophetic word that the Lord has released to me. He told me that in 2018, the mom and pop stores are going to come forth because of all the big conglomerate um, takeovers of corporations and businesses. God showed me that there would be storefronts that would be opening up and people would be opening up brand new mom and pop stores and that people would flood to them and they would become prosperous. I think that's fantastic because I personally have been thinking about opening up a Redeem and Renew Skin Solution store. So, hmm, maybe that might come to pass for me. But in the meantime, you have a dream and you have a vision. And God wants to bring it to pass because he gave it to you. I want to encourage you to stay in that. Don't walk away from that dream and that vision. Stay in that dream and vision. Because God said he knows his plans for you are for good and not evil and unto an expected end. So he's expecting you to end well. And for those of you that are sick in body, I'm asking God to heal you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for healing. I pray for prosperity. I pray for health, wealth, and prosperity. I pray for a closer walk with Jesus. Because I do believe also in 2018, we're going to see a holier atmosphere coming forth. Because I feel like the presence of the Almighty is going to come in. And he's going to be touching us in ways we haven't been touched in a long time. And we're going to see a new wave of holiness come forth. I think that's amazing. I, I, I just do. I think that's amazing. Because there are just some things that God wants to do. I also heard the Lord say that he is getting ready to release Christians into government roles. Hmm. Sounds like the original intent being restored. Hmm. I think that's a great idea, don't you? In the meantime, I want you to have a very blessed Merry Christmas and a wondrous New Year. And if you're alone on this holiday season and you're feeling sad and blue, I want you to remember this. Jesus, the Son of David, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, that very Jesus is never going to leave you nor forsake you. He's with you through the good times and the bad because he loves you. And if you're alone on this holiday season, remember, you're not alone. That the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are with you and that makes four. And four of a kind beats a full house in any game. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be strong. Because 2018 is going to be an amazing year. And I know, I know, we're all tired of hearing every year it's going to be an amazing year. But I think it is. I think we're going to see a new resurgence of Christian values coming forth. Because I don't believe the end is yet. I don't believe that this is it. Because if it was, we wouldn't be getting tons of prophecies about the next coming year is going to be a great year. Because my Bible tells me that in the last days, they'll depart from the faith, there'll be a great apostasy, and they'll leave the house of the Lord. But I'm hearing that God's going to restore the house of the Lord, and people are going to run into it and be saved. So that tells me that the end isn't yet. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't be prepared for the coming of the Lord. Because he comes. He'll either come in the rapture, he'll come for you one day at a time, or he'll just come and sit a while and let you know how much he loves you. I pray that you are blessed this Christmas season and throughout the year. And remember, if you're one of those mom and pop stores, you better get at it because God wants to make it prosperous. God bless you. Walk with the King, be a blessing, and Merry Christmas.